working. The first one calls water. Same here. The first call water cross for. And so this means that our if statement. There we go. If statement right here is working properly. Isn't that awesome? So one more point, one of the other points that I like to cover is that in Nexus, if you want to have your alias and your trigger do a common thing, is you typically make another alias and you have an alias and trigger call it. For example, if we create a new alias, whatever, let's call it test2, but does echo hi there. It's me test two. If you want to use it in both alias and trigger, you'd put in test two. For example, in our higher all alias, we'd put in test two. In our access trigger, we'd put in test two. So when we do a high all, it also says hi there is me test two. And we do QL, it says hi there is me test two. So this alias is doing two jobs at once. In Nexus, I mean in Mudlet, you can also call an alias if you really, really want, but it's considered bad style. Well, at first to actually show you how it's done, we'll do it first. So let's call our alias, uh, our alias pack. In our trigger, in our axis trigger, let's delete this and we do to call an alias, you use the expand alias function. There we go. We'll call our alias like that. So when we see an exit, our pack alias will get called. Let's give us a try. Hey, look, it worked. Pack, my pack ID, after the exits. But it's bad style. Why is it bad style? Well, first of all, it's inefficient and it's slow. You have to match all your aliases. And second of all, or is a better method in Mudlet, which is the whole reason I'm telling you to begin with. In Mudlet, or the Mudlet way, if you want to have your allies or function do a common thing, you make a new function. So the common thing what we do here is we want to run the script. You go to the script section, and you click new add item, and then you put in a new function. We can give us a function any name. For example, let's call it test5 to avoid confusion. So function, the syntax is function, name, put on two of these, and you end it right here. Your script goes into the middle of it, paste our script, name will be test5. So now we have created a new function. If we want to use a new function, we'll put in literally test5 like this. This is similar to how you saw the send and echo functions used. Well, this is exactly it. We made our new function where we can use in our lies and trigger as we want. So let's go to our trigger. And we replace this bad thing with just test5. Save item. Try it out. And look, it's still working. My pack ID, pack1234. So this is how you call an alias in Mudlet. It's better to create a new function and then call a function. It might seem more complicated to you right now, but later on as you can do scripting, you realize that functions are better. Because first of all, you can give functions data and we can also return you data. So for example, you can have a little function that does can I stand and it tells you true or false. So you call a function, it checks if you can stand and it tells you yes or no. It's, as you can see, when doing scripting, it decomplicates things because you don't have to put in the conditions for checking to stand into every single alias or trigger. You can just use a function for it. Quite nice. So, to wrap things up, in Nexus you can archive stuff. You have one of the five slots and you can press archive or write an archive and save it. In Mudlet you can do this too. Way easier, you click on save profile. Save profile. If you want to load a profile in Mudlet, 
you go to connect option Australia you see profile history and you can click on here and it'll give you a list for example for Ikea I have a big list these are the snapshots so like Nexus model isn't limited to five snapshots you can have as many snapshots of one profile as you want seriously if you're importing XML you'd click on this button if you're importing XML Modlet, you'd click this button, Import. Now, not to confuse you, Nexus XML is not compatible with Pandlet XML. There are different things, even though it's the same. And lastly, in Nexus, you click Export XML, you get a window. Here, you click Export XML, and you get to name a file where you want it. And what else? Oh, yes the lag meter. In Nexus you see this little green bar means you're okay in lag. In Nexus, I mean model it, it actually tells you the numbers because the, number, the numbers are more relevant. So when we try doing a command, it'll tell you how long the command took to get to the server and back. So 0.725. So it took 0.7 seconds to come to the server and back. Here, oh I'm lagging to 0.7. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the emergency stop button, click this to disable all triggers in Nexus, click this to disable all aliases in Nexus, here is replaced with one button, emergency stop. Click this button and all your spammy scripts will stop at once. And this would be about it. Feel free to post some other forums if you have any questions, we're very friendly people, we'll answer the thread in white mode. I'll also be adding the cheat sheet that you saw right here to the Modlet manual in the near time future. That's it. Enjoy modding. Enjoy your switch to Modlet. Have a good time.